The slope of a line can be created by drawing a right triangle from one point on the line to another point on the line. So let's take a look at what we have here. We draw the right triangle by using a particular method called the rise over run method. And we're going to elaborate on the rise over run method. And the rise over run method is going to help us create similar right triangles to kind of develop an understanding of what slope is. Now just as a note, I like to make sure that we always run to the right. So in this particular problem, we're going to rise up since the graph is going up, and we're going to always run to the right. So let's try a few of these here. So we're going to pick any point here on this graph. Let's start here. In fact, I'm going to pick two points from 1, 1 to 2, 2. And notice that we've made a right triangle. And we've made the right triangle using the rise over run method. So the idea here is after we create the right triangle, we want to give it a numerical value. So I'm going to write down the method rise over run. And let's actually plug in how much we have risen. How much did we rise? One. And we ran one. And we can reduce that down to 1, because 1 over 1 is 1. So that triangle created a slope of 1. But what if I pick two points, like we have in green here? This time we're going to rise 2, and we're going to run 2. Now the idea is to make right triangles. So you're going to rise 2, and we're going to run 2. And again, we're going to write down our method here. Our method is rise over run. So let's plug in our numbers. We rose 2, and we ran 2. 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over 1, which is 1. That's kind of interesting. What if we tried two other points? Let's go look at the uh, pink points that we have on the line here. Same thing. We're going to rise up 1, 2, 3, and we're going to run 1, 2, 3. And we've created our pink right triangle. Write down our method, rise over run. And we rose three, one, two, three. And we ran to the right, three. Three over three is the same as two over two, which is the same as one over one, which is one. It's kind of an interesting perspective. What if I were just to take two more? Let's just take, let's look at these last two green points. Let's get on the very ends or close to the ends of the line here. And let's create a large right triangle from those two outer green points. One, two, three, four, five. I rise five. And I one, two, three, four, five. I run five. Same thing, same method. We're gonna apply our rise over run. We went up five. We ran 5, 5 over 5, that's the same as 1 over 1 or anything over any anything over that same value. If the denominator and the numerators are the same, it's 1. So what kind of conclusion can we make based upon what we have here as far as our slope of this line? Well, it looks to me they create the same ratios. They all reduce down to the same value. So our slope is equal to 1 to 1 or 1 over 1. 5 over 5 is the same as a 1 to 1 ratio. So our slope is equal to 1 and that occurs no matter what two points we pick on this particular line. So remember, make sure that you are creating right triangles to extract the slope of a line.